What's going on guys? Welcome back to another High Prairie Kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how to make your duck and goose a lot more tender and then from there you can fry it up, you can grill it, you can do whatever you want to with it, but it will be a lot more tender. I just started doing this this year and I'm going to give a quick shout out to Adam Chatful. Hopefully I said that right. Nebraska Fowler on Instagram. He shared this with me and it is a game changer. I do this with all my ducks and geese since he told me about it. So figured I would share it with you because I enjoy it so much. Before we get to it though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That always helps me out. Now, let's get to the duck. So we got my duck here, nice mallard drake. All we gotta do is breast him out like so. Now that we got the breast here, like so, we're gonna rinse them off, get all the feathers off. Maybe pick out any BBs if we can find any. Looks like I only got a couple in here. Better to find them with your fingers than with your teeth. But get all the feathers you can off. Rinse them off like so. Oh, another feather. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna grab a bowl. Make sure it's not stainless steel, not metal of any sort. And you just throw the bird in just like that. And here is all you need. Secret ingredient, simply Coca-Cola. Don't want her to blow up on me. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna dump it in there, just enough to cover the bird. Now, the bird might float on you, so I like to put a plate over my bowl just in case, so I don't get any air in there, uh, you know, then it doesn't dry out. That's what I like to do. And the reason to do this is the acid in the Coca-Cola, as well as the carbonation, helps break down the meat, making it a lot more tender, a lot more palatable for some people. And it also adds just a hint of sweetness, which I really like in my in my duck and goose. Um, and you know, from this, after you're done letting it soak in here, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can use it in jerky, you can grill it, fry it, however you make your duck it'll be a lot more tender doing it this way. But like I said, just a quick little tip here. Uh, once again, thanks to Adam for sending it my way. I really love it. And hopefully you guys will too. Let me know what you guys think if you try this or if you do it already. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Once again, always helps me out. And stay tuned, I'm gonna have a lot more duck hunting, goose hunting, turkey hunting, fishing, all kinds of outdoor content coming your way year round. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe and we'll catch you out there guys. See ya.